Well, I first started this program when I was eight years old and uh, continued it through my youth and uh, right into my adult life. On uh, being hired with the London Police Service, I thought it would be something that would be a, a great opportunity for the police service to become involved with. So I started it myself uh, prior to approaching the police service with the information and uh, gathered up some uh, knitted items, at which point I uh, handed over the project and advised the media officer about what I was doing and how I felt that uh, it could look really great to have the community working so closely with the police service um, to really just help other members of the community. So we uh, formulated a plan of how we were going to distribute it and uh, we collected more items at which point we uh, went into the community and we uh, went out for my first time in a police uniform actually distributing these items uh, just as my mother did years ago. So I found that uh, it was a little bit different giving it out in a police uniform rather than my civilian clothes as people would have a, an air of surprise rather than um, just thanks towards me and gratitude. So on uh, stopping our first gentleman of the day, um, I simply rolled down the window and saw that he was uh, shivering and seemed a little bit cold. So I simply asked him if he was cold. Uh, the gentleman again was pretty surprised that a police officer even cared if he was cold, at which point uh, we uh, had him come over to the car and I told him that I've got something here for him. Uh, took out a hat and again, it was that air of surprise um, that I think actually makes the program even better to do now as a uh, member of the police service because um, I find that it only increases the trust between the community and the police and the fact that when a, a police officer speaks to you, it's not necessarily about something negative and sometimes they're genuinely just looking to help.